Hey guys, it's Chloe Case, and today I'm going to attempt to do my very own editorial shoot right in the comfort of my own home. So the first step to doing your in-home photo shoot is to find an idea. After many years, I finally reactivated my Pinterest account and I filled boards with editorial shoots and took notes of the poses and clothes they were wearing with the certain types of backdrops and frames. I knew I was really tired of posing in front of my weird textured wall for videos, so I thought it would be cool to use fabric as my backdrop. I searched our closet for what type of fabric we had and found these really interesting nude curtains. Once you got your idea, grab your backdrop materials and set it up. Since I am not doing a new photo shoot, I went through my closet and picked one iconic look that I felt matched the aesthetic of the backdrop I made. If you want to be extra like me, or just want to make your shoot more unique, gather any decorations or accessories you have lying around that you think could accent your backdrop and outfit. Now that you are content with the aesthetic you created, it's time to put that fire outfit on and get ready. For my camera setup, I am using my Sony a6000 on a Joby tripod and anything that works to get the angles I want, such as unused yoga blocks. You could also use any storage box you have, etc. Just be creative and have fun with it. It took me over an hour, but I was finally able to connect my camera to my phone. If you have a camera that has the capability, it's super helpful but definitely not necessary as you can always use a timer on your camera. Now that you are prepared to shoot, you are ready to pose for that camera, baby.
Now that the photos have been snapped, it's time to edit. To start the editing process, I look through all the photos and favorite the ones I like. Next, I upload and edit all my cute photos into Lightroom. After many hours of editing, I export the photos to my camera roll and make an album specifically for them. I then favorite the ones that I really like and repeat the process until I feel like I love each photo I have favorited and remove the rest from the album. Looking at the photos in an editorial perspective, I chose the ones I felt were the most impactful, had dynamic body movement, interesting expressions and composition, and of course whichever ones I felt super cute in. Now that the photos have been filtered to my standard, here they are. And that wraps up my very first editorial shoot by myself. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know which shot was your favorite. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!